Well, greetings, folks, on a Wednesday, 24th, right? 25th? Oh, it's not Wednesday. <clears throat> it's Thursday. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's like that sometimes. Yes, I'm wearing a different shirt. I just was doing some more cleaning and I just was looking at these clothes that I never wear from when I used to work. I said, let me put this on today. Got a Jostaberry t-shirt on underneath it. Cheers. Well, I got the news just before bedtime last night from my friend Randy that Mike Pinder of the Moody Blues has passed away. We're at that age, folks. Everyone's up in their 70s and 80s, especially these guys. They came the guys that were a generation before me that I was listening to as a teenager. Um, they're all saying goodbye. Moody Blues, I've shown them in recent times. I have all of their main albums. And the Moody Blues literally saved my life. Days of Future Past, when I was a suicidal kid, around 13, 14. Um, the mu music saved me from an... Um, I've, I've made three suicide attempts, and um, the Moody Blues saved me from one, which might have might have been fatal. It was the beauty. It is the not was. It is the beauty of the music. It is the message of those classic albums of theirs. Um, I have all these on on vinyl. To me, this music is not. The words are not hippy dippy trippy. They are real and words to live by. Um, to our children's children's children is. Oh, it's just right there. It's one of my top albums of all time. I can do it like this. Where? I'll make it easy on myself. The records are down there. Uh, the Moody Blues music. I've seen them live too back in the day. Back in the 70s, I saw them live. This is a... Um, people always want to know Derek's top... What are your top albums? <clears throat> well, it's hard to say. But this is one of them. To our children's children's children. The music and the words equally as important. The Moody Blues, to me, are one of the greatest bands, and they're one of the most important bands in my personal, for me personally. They rate high, 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 much higher than a lot of what people consider the classic bands. I have a lot more love and appreciation for the Moody Blues than you can just go down the list of the main bands that everyone's always screaming about. Everyone from Led you know, the classics from Led Zeppelin to The Who, um, you know, the Beatles are at the top of my game. They changed my life, I, you know. But the Moody Blues are much more important to me than all those bands, Queen, Fleetwood Mac, Guns N' Roses, all these bands that people are always screaming about their greatness. The Moody Blues mean so much more to me. And I would... If someone were to ask me, well, that's what I'm doing here, sharing my interest in music. I'll point you in the direction of the stuff that I'm showing all the time and something like the Moody Blues, rather than the stuff that people are always pointing everyone to, which is the more commercially well-known stuff. Rest in peace, Mike Pinder. I'm glad I got to see them live. Um, yesterday I, I did do some shopping not for records I'm being s silly but not really I bought some new house shoes <laughs> I tend to wear things until they wear out and my last pair of house shoes they were 
falling off of my feet. That's just the way that I am. Goes back to childhood when you don't have a lot of money. You use everything until you can't use it. And then you find another use for it when that use is worn out. We were so poor that my brother's underwear were handed down to me for a, a, a while. Imagine that, having to wear someone else's used underwear because you're so poor. Has everything to do with why I don't give a shit about money. I've never had it. So it hasn't poisoned me. Rest in peace, Mike Pinder. 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 I'm pretty sure it's Pinder. Let me just do a few things. Discus letting you know I got your latest releases. Ooh, that's not one. These two are your latest. I'll be reviewing them shortly. First impressions are good. You guys are up to good stuff, and I love your graphics. I love, I love the graphics. But to respond to Fourth Dimension, I went ahead and have played this as part, never, the second track is the one that I like, okay? I've played this twice now um, yesterday so that I could talk about it. Mummies and Mad Men. Red Front, Mummies and Mad Men Grow Dark in the Sun. Put out by Fourth Dimension Lumber, Lumberton, whichever um, um, see at my Glasses, I can't even see. Lumberton, I think, is the label for this. Now, from reading about this, if I understand correctly, this is a bit of an archive recording. CD still in the player. August 24th, 1983. You know, they set up the scene. These are Ellen Ryder and these other people are involved in the early days of disseminating industrial music and music like that with their label, Adventures in Reality Recordings. I mean, everything from attrition to Muslim Goss, Test Department, SPK, they put out recordings from those folks, okay? So that sets up what this is is in the realm of. The first track to me is, uh, is static. It just go, it just starts and it has this loop that just goes on and there's someone talking. I'm not interested enough to, to get caught up in what they're talking about. So it sounds like it was like an experiment that, oh, this is pretty cool, you know, <clears throat> but it just goes on for 19 minutes. So the first track is kind of static, not too much to get into. The second track to me is more successful and more interesting audio-wise. Uh, the second track involves some field recordings. There's some actual instrument playing, kind of an, a repetitive bass pattern. Um, what do they call that? An ostinato type. I'm looking it up here. Yeah, and so the second track is more... I see that Alan Ryder is involved. Well, he mainly played everything. Bass synthesizer drum programming on track two. Well, track two is the one of the two. The first one is an experiment, and it just goes on, and it is not that interesting, okay? But um, I can see where, when they were laying it down, that it was probably a cool thing happening and while it was happening it was probably pretty engaging okay but for a listening experience the second track grow um grow dark in the sun evolves a bit you know and um it's anchored by the um repetitive bass but the the sounds around it Keep you more engaged. So, good on you, folks, for keeping this stuff alive and and re releasing. Um, I just love the fact that people are able to afford to release this sort of material still in these days because it's so non-commercial. 
I, I, I I'm, can't imagine that Richard and the people involved here, Cyan Organ, are making any money. Obviously, that's not the, uh, the, the purpose for it. But do you guys sell? Do these sell? I mean, I'm, it's a serious question. Now, Fred Church just sent me a CD. Um, but um, I'm just going to talk to him because it's like, hmm, that's my response to that, okay? On camera, I'll talk to him personally. It's like, hmm. Sometimes people will send me things, and depending, it's like I'm not sure how to take it. It's like, what is this? Is this serious? I don't want to offend anyone, but it's easy to offend people when you are honest. Just I was talking about Blake yesterday, and I think that's what happened with Blake is I ran him away. I'm too honest. We'll find, I'll find out next week. We have a rehearsal. I haven't talked to him in months. He hasn't he didn't hasn't responded to my last few emails except for one where he was apologetic but it's like come on man I thought we were friends what the fuck is this was I too much for you too honest and that's what I'm thinking it is because I don't you know I'm not mean I know about the motivation behind how we speak and when we say things honestly depending on our motivation, we, so, you know, sometimes when we're being honest with people, we, we want to cut, we want to hurt. Other times, we want to be honest because we want to help, where we really care. It's important to know that motivation. Excuse me. And I know that I've spoken really honestly to Blake about a few things, things he didn't want to hear. I heard that from my friend Nick, the, um, the friend who had the crisis. And he said, that's one of the things I like about you, Derek, even though it's hard, is that you don't bullshit. You won't tell me what I want to hear. I said, why would I? If I love you, why would I lie to you? Okay. Something to keep in mind with all this madness going on politically with the ex-president. It's really coming out how who's really, who really actually created fake news. Of course, we've known all along projection, liars, what they say, others are doing is what they're doing. Okay. Oh, I want to do this before I talk up some records. I got some nice feedback on my, on, on my records and I want to share it from Daniel. Derek, thank you. I have received your art and my house is full of the most beautiful, precious vibes your music has brought to us. Cheers. P.S. Your production value is outstanding. Thank you, folks, for sh telling people that. One of the reasons why I don't endeavor more to play music in my videos while I'm talking is the fidelity is compromised by the attenuator on the camera's um, microphone. It clips the highs and lows off so you can't hear. But I listen to a lot of music, and it's important to me for the music to to um people are telling me you hear it on your big stereos success it's important to me for it to sound good fright night thank you for sharing with me about your um problem with your neighbors and then another one um on uh, oh wow i've just seen this a fred has responded to fright night um Yes, this, you know, bad neighbors is something that is, is an unfortunate common thing. I decided, and someone else also, thank you, someone who's never commented before said, be careful, don't be getting your ass shot. You know, that really touched me. Thank you, whoever you are. Let me share this because um, the dog is quiet today, but yesterday was one of those days where the dog was out most of the day, and it was just excruciating. But I observed my neighbors, and all three houses in a row now are in cahoots. It wasn't always like that, you know. Um, the people that have moved in, Gary's daughter, and then these people who moved, over, moved in over here are somehow connected. I'm leaving them the fuck alone. 
I was, you know, pulling some weeds and listening to them because they're outside a lot loud. And their conversations make no sense at all. They're just babbling about bullshit. I'm going to leave them alone and just put up with the dog. I realized, yeah, these people are not to be reasoned with. It's sad. We got a lot of dumb motherfucking people in this world. It's sad. It doesn't have nothing to do with the color of their skin. Stupid is stupid, okay? Uneducated is uneducated. And I got people of all kinds of colors across the street, all right? Okay? Can't stand racism. Okay, some music played besides me working. A lot on my mind this morning, okay? So let me talk about one record, then I'll get back into my thoughts. Henry Franklin, The Skipper. This is probably um, um, a high point for the Black Jazz series. This is Groove. But it's, it's just filler, okay? It percolates. And the next thing you know, you're grooving, okay? This is, I love the cover because it's like he's letting you know, yeah, I'm bad. Yeah, I'm throwing down something here. Yeah, yeah I'm being a little silly because I love that look with the hat. Listen up, y'all. Take, take heed. Skipper's in town. So, the other thing um, that I was thinking to share is, and that I'm working on now, is I am not abandoning the muse number two, but I've decided that I can do more than, well, I can do whatever I want. For a while, I was really stuck on that being the next release. But I have a whole nother follow-up to um, Future Still that's more active. That's I'm going to kind of refocus on that. I already started refocusing on it. Polishing up some of the uh, tracks for release. Um, I thought I had more to say about that, but I'll show one more record, then I have to go to the restroom. I hate when that happens, you know. Terra Riptal from Norway, the Sandra. I hadn't played this in a while. With Pal Mickelborg and John Christensen. Get to know this music. Get to know this music. You know, I hate it when we have those, I have those mornings where I'll go and then five minutes later, I have to go again. That's what's happening again. So I'm going to go ahead and stop now because it's 18 minutes. Share your thoughts with me, folks. Rest in peace, Mike Pender. People are letting me know and letting you know. There's more comments positively about the, the music of mine that people have bought recently. I'm glad that people are sharing with you how good it sounds. This stuff is not... It's made here, but it doesn't sound homemade. High quality music, world class. I know that I'm making world class art. I can say that confidently, not egotistically. Confidently, because it has to get past my bullshit detector first. You know, I'm a fan of music. I'm a music lover. So that's Actually, why well, I have to talk to Fred Church about what he sent me. It's like, I have to find out what this was about because it doesn't, my first impression is, is what? I got to be honest, okay? So I'm going to talk to Fred about what, what was that about that you sent me? Because um, I know how to make music. Making music with live instruments is harder than using um, MIDI. It is, but you still, but the, the, power of MIDI for me is that I can craft things, okay? When you're playing live instruments, what you get, it's harder to get it. You see what I'm saying? So when people record stuff with live instruments and they send it to me, and depending on what it is, some stuff sounds really homemade, and it's like, I don't know what this is about. 
so anyway, I'm rambling. That's in relation to this, this other CD I just got. Okay. Okay. Have a good day, people. I'm just getting myself rolling here. I got several things in my mind at the same time. Take care, people. Take care and, and, and stay in touch. Let me know what's let me know how you're doing. Okay.